All right, we're talking skin, people. Dr. Whitney Bow is a board certified dermatologist based in New York. You might have seen her on her TikTok and Instagram where she's known for that bow glow. <laughs> I've been a medical doctor for 15 years. I've been a practicing board certified dermatologist for more than 10 years. So guys, I've pretty much seen everything there is to see when it comes to the skin, the hair, the nails. Right now we're gonna go to the internet, so give us your best shot. Here is our first question from Instagram. This person writes, I've seen people using cotton swabs to pop their pimples. Are cotton swabs safe to use? Let's take a look at this video, which got over half a million views. As you can see, they've got their gloves on and they have two cotton swabs. They're applying some pressure and pop goes the weasel. <laughs> First of all, is it even okay to pop a pimple? For the record, guys, I don't actually recommend popping your own pimples at home, but I know that many of you are gonna take matters into your own hands anyway, so why don't I talk you guys through what I do in the office. So what I do is I use a special instrument. It's called a comedone extractor. So if you guys are gonna do this at home, which again, I don't recommend, what you wanna do is first you wanna clean the area. You wanna also clean your tool, right? So with alcohol, that's the best way to get it nice and sterile. Mm -hmm. And then what you wanna do is you put, there's this little, this little sort of like a loop on one end. Yeah. You wanna center that around the lesion and you wanna press gently. And that's the key word, Renata. Gently. gently. Because if you press gently and it pops, Hopefully you caught that on film because you will become an overnight TikTok don't sensation. Don't encourage these people, Dr. Bo. Don't encourage them. What Go you ahead. don't want to do, what you don't want to do is you don't want to keep digging. If it doesn't pop with gentle pressure, you want to put the tool down yeah. and walk, walk away. away. All right, all right. So got it. But what about those cotton swabs? Okay, so the Q-tip technique. If I don't have this here, um, comedone extractor, do right. it. You may not have this at home, which I yeah. highly recommend not getting at home. Mm -hmm. You may have some Q-tips, and that, that's a good alternative because what you wanna do is you wanna sort of mimic that same action that the comedone extraction is doing, which is basically putting pressure down and in. But the same holds true for the Q-tips. What do you wanna do if you apply gentle pressure and it's not popping? Walk away. Walk <laughs> away. Walk, Walk away. away. All right, question number two is, about something that's been popping up more on TikTok. Popping up, who, who wrote that? I call it skin shaving, and this next person wants to know, is this a safe to try at home kind of thing? Now to me, this sounds like it could get dangerous really quick. I've seen so many terrifying fails on social media, Dr. Bo. Like this video right here where someone shaved their eyebrows off. Uh, Gone! Or this video of someone who ends up with cuts all over their face. Just all over their face, I open feel sores. for this girl, pressed a little too hard. My goodness. Yeah. Dr. Bo, uh, break it down. Why are people doing this? What is going on? Is it safe? So this is something called okay. dermaplaning. So dermaplaning oh. is when you take a single blade okay. and you basically scrape away the uppermost layers of your skin along with your peach fuzz, what we call vellus hairs. Now, Renata, overall, I'm actually not a big fan mm -hmm. of dermaplaning, but I can get behind this if you're somebody who really just can't live with your peach fuzz. Like, there are okay. people out there that, that really have... And it's really visible, yeah, too. Yeah, yeah, you really see it, and it's mm -hmm. on the upper lip and on the sides of the face, and it's driving them crazy. They've tried right. everything else out there. So I can get behind dermaplaning for the peach fuzz, for those peach fuzz sufferers, if you take certain precautions. Okay. So if you're dermaplaning, yeah. precaution number one, you want to use light, short, feathery strokes. You don't want to press too hard. That's when you can actually damage what's called the skin barrier. Mm -hmm. Okay, precaution number two, you don't want to do this that often. Okay, you don't want to be dermaplaning more than once every like one to three weeks. That's pretty safe. If you're doing this a couple times a week, no bueno, not okay for the skin. And the other thing to keep in mind with dermaplaning is if you guys have a breakout, you know, if you have active acne lesions on your skin, you do not want to be dermaplaning on top of those lesions. You can do some serious harm. Gotcha, that makes sense. Yeah. You don't want to open, make that an open sore. Exactly, right. lead to dark marks, lead mm -hmm. to scars. You know, it's basically you're creating a wound. Not a good idea if you have yeah. acne, yeah. yeah. Dr. 
the bow. Let me tell you something, okay? Um, I am new to the skincare game. I used to do a hot water paper towel to wash my face every morning, and that was it. I have amazing skin, as you said. Uh, uh, so this woman is obviously genetically blessed. Don't try the hot water paper towel method at home. Okay guys, doesn't sound great. Our skin doesn't love hot water. I mean, your skin is glowing, it's gorgeous. So clearly she doesn't need my saying. help, but. All right, comment below with your pressing health questions. And of course, hit subscribe here to the health channel to get more answers from medical experts on the questions you want to know. Dr. Bo, thank you so much for joining us, for answering all the health questions from my audience. We appreciate you. Aww. All right, everyone, remember to see your doctor for any medical advice for your skin issues. Now, these skin tags, can you take a look at this for me? I mean, it's back here. It's actually up under my arm. <laughs> Girl, that's so much let's going go, on. Let's go back there. Okay, okay. okay. <laughs>